Hey yo! Let's do an experiment, see? What I've got here is three cells hooked up so that they are a battery. I've got the positive side connected to this wire right here. We're going to a round bulb right there. And I taped down the wire so it doesn't get in my way. And this is just free right now. Free! And then I'm going to connect it to that side. And then over here we got the same kind of deal. Symmetry-like negative side of the battery connected to this wire going into this round bulb right here. Same, same. And then that's going to go over and connect right there. We always have a decision to make as to which to connect first. And I'm just going to make the decision to connect one of them and then make the other one a good strong connection by going like crunk and then and then we'll just watch what happens. We'll make some observations. And so as I don't get in the way, I'm going to have a special timing system. But audio is not really important this, so whatever. You could turn it off if you want. So here's how we're going to do this. And uh, if you are one of my students in real life, just kidding, we never see each other either, then um, you go ahead and take some data from this. But if you're just, uh, uh, you know, watching on the beach somewhere, then um, enjoy. So here's what we do. We get that one, get good contact right there. And now if timing is important to you, you better get ready to start those stopwatches because I'm about to take some data. Here we go. When 40 winters shall besiege thy brow and dig deep trenches in thy beauty's field, thy youth's proud livery so gazed on now will be a tattered weed of small worth held. Then being asked where all thy beauty lies, where all the treasure of thy lusty days to say within thine own deep sunken eyes were an all-eating shame and thriftless praise. How much more praise deserved thy beauty's use? If thou couldst answer this fair child of mine shall sum my count and make my old excuse, proving his beauty by succession thine. This were to be new made when thou art old and see thy blood warm when thou feelst it cold. So that has finished, and now we wonder whether there is some energy in this capacitor over here. I didn't talk about the capacitor, but uh, it is a very large bipolar capacitor. It means it doesn't care which way it's hooked up. And we're going to test whether there's some energy in it, and maybe even be able to quantify the energy that's in there. Don't kid yourself, it's not 9, I'm making this at 3 in the morning. And then uh, we're going to connect, uh, let's just say we can, yeah, let's just hook up this one right here. This is a Genicon. And I'm going to hook up this Genicon so that you can see just exactly how much it has rotated. I'm going to try to get it upright right there. And then you'll uh, be able to define, based on the clock zipping of the Genicon, how much it has rotated. So I'm going to connect to the other end of the Genicon right here in a moment and entertain you while stuff happens. Here we are. Look in thy glass and tell the face thou viewest. Now is the time that face should form another, whose fresh repair, if now, thy not, if now thou not renewest, thou dost beguile the world, unless some mother. For where is she so fair, whose uneared womb disdains the tillage of thy husbandry? Or who is he so fond will be the tomb of his self-love to stop posterity? Thou art thy mother's glass, and she in thee calls back the lovely April of her prime. So thou through windows of thine age shalt see, despite of wrinkles, this thy golden time. But if thou live remembered not to be, die single, and thine image dies with thee. Now we think that we have studied the energy in that capacitor. <laughs> Come on out, little guy. Come on, don't be shy. That's not a capacitor. This is a capacitor. This sucker right here says one zero 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 MFD. Now, of course, we know that that doesn't mean MFD in the mega sense, but we know that the letter mu in Greek looks kind of like a bat, and that was frightening to people historically. So they used a capital M instead of a lowercase mu to represent the same concept, historically. Now, if you see a capital M, you, it might actually mean mega farads now, but uh, it would be absurd to think of 100,000 micro, uh, sorry, 100,000 mega farads um, in the olden days. So this capacitor right here says 
25000 microfarads. Again, they're using the uh, non-frightening capital M. And um, that means that these have different numbers on them. Bloop and bloop. So let's try the same game with this capacitor right here. And we'll put it in the same orientation, although it is bipolar, it shouldn't really matter which way we have it facing. And I am just about ready. So if you're the timing sort of person, you want to get ready also. Remember, I'm going to clip that on there. And you're going to watch for whatever thinks interesting here. And we will experiment. Those hours that with gentle work did frame the lovely gaze where every eye doth dwell, will play the tyrants to the very same, and that unfair which fairly doth excel. For never resting time leads summer on to hideous winter, and confounds him there, sap checked with frost and lusty leaves quite gone, beauty o'er snowed and bareness everywhere. Then, were not summer's distillation left a liquid prisoner pent in walls of glass, beauty's effect with beauty were bereft. Nor it nor no rem remembrance what it was, but flowers distilled, though they with winter meet, lease but their show, their substance, still live sweet. So we kind of think that the capacitor is charged at this point, like we've given it enough time to charge, and it's time for us to assess whether there is, in fact, energy in the capacitor. So we get out our clock again, and we see that time has been moving nicely, and we prepare the Genicon there. And I'm going to take the same game. I'm going to take this guy over here and connect it to that side before anything happens. And when the circuit is complete, stuff will happen. So I will hold this, and I will connect this and I will entertain you. Lo, in the Orient, when the gracious light lifts up his burning head, each under eye doth homage to his new appearing sight, serving with looks his sacred majesty, and having climbed the steep up heavenly hill, resembling strong youth in his middle age, yet mortal looks adore his beauty still, attending on his golden pilgrimage. But when from highmost pitch with weary car, like feeble age, he reeleth from the day, the eyes for duteous now converted are from his low tract and look another way. So thou thyest outgoing in thy noon, unlooked, unlooked on diest, unless thou get a son. So we kind of think that the energy now has left the capacitor and performed work on the Genicon. Now, my experimental expectations are that this experiment be performed twice. You are in the hands of a very careful experimenter here, and so we don't need to do it like six times as long as we get reliable data. So we're going to start the entire thing over, and we are going to do it again. So whatever, we'll just do it again. We get some more times, you know what I mean? Let's go! Well, guess who finished up the storage space before the, um, <laughs> before the experiment was finished? It's me! Whoops! So let's try the second round at this time. Ready? Go! As fast as thou shalt wane, so fast thou growest in one of thine from that which thou departest. And that fresh blood which youngly thou bestowest, thou mayest call thine when thou from youth convertest. Herein lives wisdom, beauty, and increase. Without this, folly, age, and cold decay. If all were minded so, the times should cease, and threescore year would make the world away. Let those whom nature hath not made for store, harsh, featureless, and rude, barrenly perish, Look, whom she best endowed, she gave the more, which bounteous gift thou shouldst in bounty cherish. She carved thee for the, her seal, and meant thereby thou shouldst print more, not let that copy die. 
So here we believe that we've charged that capacitor and we're going to do a little bit of discharging the capacitor. We will discharge the capacitor through the Genicon as seen before. I'm gonna line this sucker up right here. Gonna connect this side here and that side when we are prepared to take some data. And whenever you're ready, I mean, whatever, it's whenever I'm ready. So I'm ready and Oh, that you were yourself, but love, you are no longer yours than you yourself here live. Against this coming end you should prepare, and your sweet semblance to some other give. Show, so should that beauty which you hold in lease find no determination, then you were yourself again after yourself's decease. When your sweet issue your sweet form should bear, who lets so fair a house fall to decay, which husbandry in honor might uphold against the stormy gusts of winter's day and barren rage of death's eternal cold? Oh, none but unthrifts, dear my love, you know, you had a father, let your son say so. So now we believe that that has discharged the capacitor and we want to perform the experiment again with what we'll call the uh, taller, skinnier capacitor. It also has a bigger number ending in farads. We're going to plop that right there. We're going to charge that sucker and I am almost ready. Okay, now I'm ready. We're going to take this and you better be timing this sucker because I don't even know. I don't even know. Wow, it's quite a reach. Okay, so remember I said I was going to grab that one right there, and then I was going to come over here and connect this, and you're looking at those bulbs. So, who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts? Though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts. If I could write the beauty of your eyes, and in fresh numbers number all your graces, the age to come would say, this poet lies, such heavenly touches ne'er touched earthly faces. So should my papers, yellowed with their age, be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue, and your true rights be termed a poet's rage, and stretched meter of an antique song. But were some child of yours alive that time, you should live twice in it, and in my rhyme. So we kind of think that capacitor is charged. Let's go ahead and take this sucker over here and measure how many rotations of the old Genicon we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's spin the Genicon one last time for the kids. I'm gonna put this over here and connect that to right there. And there's no continuous path, so we don't have anything to worry about yet. But as soon as we connect this, it's going to be business time. And then I'll stop bothering you. Ready? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Devouring time, blunt thou the lion's paws, and make the earth devour her own sweet brood. Pluck the keen teeth from the fierce tiger's jaws, and burn the long-lived phoenix in her blood. Make glad and sorry seasons as thou fleets, and do whate'er thou wilt, swift-footed time, to the wide world and all her fading sweets. But I forbid thee one most heinous crime, O carve not with thy hours my love's fair brow, nor draw no lines there with thine antique pen. Him, in thy course untainted, do allow for beauty's pattern to succeeding men. Yet do thy worst, old time, despite thy wrong. My love shall in my verse ever live young. So I don't really know what happened there. I must have made a bad connection right here, or perhaps this screw got loose or something inside the capacitor disconnected. So I'm going to do that one more time because, um, you know, yeah, you know, I'm going to take this. And we'll just connect these guys right here, like... And it's charging, and it's charging. So, um... We're in quarantine here. And time's passing. But is it really passing? I mean, you can see the time stamp there moving along the bottom or what have you but I kind of think it's charged but did anything happen I don't know I don't know 
Let's try this out again. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try to make a good connection. So instead, instead of what we just did, I'm gonna take this sucker here. And in fact, I'm gonna connect this side first, just to see if we can eliminate that issue that we were having. Okay. Okay. One more experiment. Ready? And here, I'm just gonna grab it. There we go. So I kind of think that's much better data that we just got right there because um, it didn't have to do that starting and stopping. And I bet that there's some energy incorporated in that starting and stopping. And at, at the very least, we want to make sure that our um, all of our rotations don't include starting and stopping. So let's go ahead and use those data. In fact, that last data point in order to consider the energy that is in a capacitor. So uh, the, the, the question then is what... Um, what is the account of energy in a capacitor? Like, what sort of energy is it? And that's for you to decide. Bye-bye.